It's hard to believe well over a decade has passed since Captain Cannavaro and the Italian national team paraded World Cup trophy number four through the fan-filled streets of Rome. A feat the Azzurri seemed well equipped to replicate eventually became an impossible task when they failed to qualify for the 2018 edition in Russia, marking the first time they'd be World Cup spectators in 60 years. Now we are at rock bottom, the lowest ebb since I was born. But since that soul-destroying defeat to Sweden in the World Cup qualifying playoffs, the Azzurri have been nothing short of perfect, at least in terms of games won. After six matches, they're sat top of Group J, flawless, conceding just three goals, typically Italian, and scoring 18, rather untypically. And it means it would take an extreme collapse for them to miss out on a second major tournament in a row. Clearly, Italy hadn't quite the issues that have plagued the Netherlands of late. But then this wouldn't be the first time the Euros have added shine to Italy's deterioration. Having reached the final in 2012, sandwiched between quarterfinal penalty shootout losses. Whereas ahead of Russia 2018, consecutive group stage exits at the World Cup were probably the true indicator of just how dismal the Italian football movement had become. I think we must make the most of this negative situation to revamp Italian football. The overhaul began when Carlo Tavecchio vacated his post as Italian Football Federation president. I have resigned. I have asked for the resignation of all federal council members as a political act. But nobody has stepped down. Only my resignation stands. They then ended manager Gian Piero Ventura's disastrous 14-month stint, eventually replacing him with Roberto Mancini in May 2018. I think this was the right time for me. We need to do something for the national team. Not being in the World Cup is hard for all of us who have supported Italy all this time. So I thought that such a difficult moment could be the right time. And I also think that becoming the manager of the national team is everybody's dream. It may be everybody's dream, and the qualification campaign may have lifted the mood around the Azzurri. But the reality is, Mancini will be hard-pressed to guide Italy to a European title they've only won once, back in 1968. To become a manager of the national team is difficult, always, because in Italy we are 50 million supporters and 50 million managers. But if anyone can manage his nation's great expectations, it's Mancini. For one, club titles with both Internazionale and Manchester City ended long league droughts and proved he can turn teams around. But while qualifying for the Euros is a start, there's a long way to go if they're to win the thing. The team may have an embarrassment of riches in midfield, and their defence is... Well, it's Italy, its defence is fine. Better than fine, even. But Mancini needs to find a goal scorer. Lorenzo Insigne is spectacular with Napoli, but not so much for his nation. You're never sure whether Lazio's Ciro Immobile is actually on the pitch, he disappears so often. And Torino's Andrea Bellotti can be brilliant if he's healthy. There is last season's Capo Canonieri winner, Fabio Quagliarella, though he's nearly 37. And while 19-year-old Moise Keane has flashes of genius, he's far from ready to lead from the front. So is it even worth mentioning Mario Balatelli? No, Italy's forward line is underwhelming and anemic. Yeah, as we said before, there's a long way between a successful qualifying campaign, beating the likes of Finland, Liechtenstein, Armenia and Greece, and actually becoming European champions.
Thanks for watching. For more great content on all things football, make sure you hit the subscribe button.